Hello to all my lively ladies, you're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today's workout, we are going to boost our immunity with this 30 minute low impact cardio workout. Okay, so I'm just getting started here now at my warm up. So join in when you're ready. I'm just doing a little step touch and bringing in some arms. They're just really waking up the upper back. Good work. Now, before you start, make sure you have, maybe you might need some water, a towel, a chair, or a piece of sturdy furniture for balance. But if you don't have any of those around, you can always go to your wall and uh, use that for a little bit of assi assistance. Okay, so today now we are, we are going to do a workout to try and help boost our immunity. So now, with everything else in life, you have to be consistent if you want to see results. So I don't just mean this workout's gonna just automatically give you a great and strong immune system. It's what you're doing every day, over a period of time, over a period of weeks and months, okay? And that just, just staying consistent, like we have to with everything in our daily lives. So how does exercise boost our immunity? Let's change up the arms now. So we'll just do some bend at the elbow and reach up, good. So exercise can help really improve your uh, immunity because it helps to improve lymphatic circulation, okay? So if you're not familiar with the lymphatic system, that is just a, a system in our body that helps us get rid of toxins and waste, okay? So it also increases our white blood cells, our macrophages, and they help us to, uh, to kill off any viruses or infections that you may pick up um, over your lifetime. And also, exercise, as we all know, can help to reduce stress. So, okay, so that, that in turn helps you sleep better at night, and then that in turn helps you with your mental stress. Good, so also you'll often hear me say here in the videos that it also helps to increase endorphins. Just rest your arms now, your hands on your hips. So you'll often hear me say that, getting that endorphin rush. Let's bend your knees a little deeper now, or stay upright if you have uh, trouble with your knees, okay? Now this is all well and good, but you have to be careful that you are not overdoing it with exercise. So how do we know the signs? What are the signs that you're overdoing it with exercise? or anything you're doing in your life. So you may find it hard to sleep at night. That's one big sign. Let's march it out here, just change up the legs a little bit. Good, okay. So you might find it hard to fall asleep at night or even stay asleep. You might be tired and feeling fatigued a lot and you might have sore muscles. That's a big sign, our muscles that are taking a long time to recover. Let's punch out now with the arms, good. So these are signs that we might be overdoing it with exercise or other physical activities that you do in your daily life. So watch out for that. Make sure that you are eating well to help your body recover from exercise. You also make sure you don't want to be exercising for very, very long periods. Let's put, run the arms down by our side. So workouts like these here, these low impact workouts, you can actually do these every day because they don't place as much stress on your ligaments, your tendons and your joints and also your nervous system. They do allow for a quick recovery so that you can exercise the following day, okay? So you want to make sure that you're not increasing cortisol, which is our stress hormone, keeping cortisol down and uh, just keeping your stress levels down, okay? So just watch out for the signs there, like the sore muscles, constant fatigue, and not being able to sleep well at night. But you can help your body recover by getting a good night's sleep and uh, eating well, lots of greens, adequate, adequate amounts of protein, and hydrating yourself. All right, let's step back now, okay. Good work. That's it, okay. So bringing the elbows by your side. So just remember, be consistent with your workouts and with also all these other little activities that we do in our daily lives, like getting to bed at, getting to bed early, getting up at the same time every day, that'll really help you. And also what you eat, just making sure that you're eating those one ingredient foods to help control insulin in your body as well, okay? That's it, good work. Just stepping back, four to go, three, 
two. Just take, take it back to a little basic march. Open the legs wide. We'll do a few little squats to warm up the legs, the hips. Open up, up the hips a little bit for you. Good, good work. Now pull back those elbows. Track your knees out over your toes. That's it. Good. Keep your chest up for me. Squeeze your glutes on the way up. Try not to bend your spine backwards. Okay, so don't hyperextend your spine. Good. That's it. Now let's reach across. I've often worked out with a head cold. I don't recommend that you work out if you've got a flu where the, the, the aches and pains you feel in your muscles with a flu where you really need to be resting in a bed or on the couch. But I have often over the years worked out with a head cold and I've actually gotten rid of the head cold just by doing some moderate um, exercise. You can actually raise your body temperature and rid yourself of your cold. As long as you don't push too hard and you send yourself the other direction where you've increased your stress hormones too much. That's it, now out to the front. Good work. That's it, now punch out and punch and punch. Now you ready for some big arm circles? Let's do four more punches. Three, two, and one. And big circles. That's it. And studies have shown that people who exercise at a moderate intensity most days of the week tend to suffer from less uh, colds and flus. That's it, particularly in the respiratory tract. So that's great. So keep it moderate. You can maybe add in like a high intensity workout once or twice a week as long as you are recovering. Okay, so as long as you sleep well at night and you're eating well, you're, you have your good nutrition well and truly on point where you're every day you're eating those green vegetables you're getting the protein you need for your muscle repair and you're hydrating your body that's it good and uh, right up good we go the other way with the arms it's going to feel like the legs are turning the other way too but make sure that they are those knees are going out tracking out again over the shoes okay now we've got a 20 minute workout today here if you want to include that warm-up you're going to get an extra six minutes six or seven i'm just guessing here <laughs> good now let's march it out first move now we're going to do is our pendulums and chest press okay now you keep marching it out we'll go together we're working for an interval of 50 seconds today you can do the whole minute if you want you can leave out the 10 second transition or you can actually add to that 10 seconds, maybe add another 10 seconds, get 20 seconds if you need it. Or if you really need a good rest, march out on the spot for about 60 seconds. Okay, so, see everything's on track. Right, so pendulum, chest press, we go on the beep. There we go, and get pendulum down first. Now you can make the moves nice and small and you can slow them right down, okay? Now let's push out, so a little bit of coordination here for us. Push and push, push. Now get your breathing going. You can hear me now, I start exaggerating the breathing. Right from the lower lobes of the lungs. That's it, good. And pull back, so push away, pull back. That's it, now you're really working those inner and outer thighs. That saddlebag area of the body. Such horrible names they give these body parts. It. Now abs tight, so engage your core. Next move, we're going to do a squat, so a little mini squat will do, and leg curl. Okay, squat, leg curl, squat, leg curl, and we'll be changing legs. Okay, Ooh, I really feel in the outer, the hip area there. So one squat, one leg curl, one squat, one leg curl. Open wide, squat, leg curl, squat, leg curl. That's it. Sit down, kick your bum. Sit down and kick, that's it, good. So we're really hitting the hamstrings here. Keep that chest upright for me, good. Kick your bum and kick. That's it, kick. Now you really feel the back of your thighs here. That's it, now you can slow down or speed it up. That's right, if you want to really feel each move 
slow it down bring those muscles a little bit of time under tension for the muscles or you can make it more cardio speed it up and get your heart rate up a little bit more now we've got our skater lunges so that's these guys and then we bring in some flies okay so join in with me when you're ready there take a longer rest if you want to you can take up to 30 seconds even if you want to now some open up those chest that chest area for me there good now you'll notice i'm keeping my heel up i say it a lot but you don't want to be forcing your heel down when you're moving with a little bit of tempo or speed you might overstretch the achilles tendon and end up with a painful foot and not be able to work out we don't want that <laughs> we want consistency don't we consistency to keep your immunity your immune system nice and healthy okay that's it push back and feel that lovely lovely stretch in around that shoulder and that upper pectoral area good now quick march out just to transition we're going to do some step backs and kickbacks okay so come on in with me on the beep that's it step backs now if you want you can add just that slight little hop there in the as the two feet come together okay if you find that's too much coordination with these arms just step it that's it again keep that heel up kick back with the arms tuck the elbows into your rib cage that's it keep them in that general area neck is relaxed uh, shoulder blades slightly retracted not overly retracted because you bring tension into your upper body if you overly retract good that's some squat and side bends next I like the next move keep breathing for me feel your heart rate coming up here yeah? just there now okay so a little squat side bend and again you can bring in a deep squat if you want to and really get those legs and bum muscles come on in now working or you can leave it a sort of like a little bounce in the middle and bring it bring your heart rate up a little bit more that's it so tapping out that floor abs are in tight because you are bending slightly to the sides so you've got to watch your spine you can bend deeply and really squat down and reach right over it'll slow the move down you'll see the difference in the tempo so it's kind of more endurance here a little bit more endurance coming into it good or you can mix between the two that's it good nearly there now keep going next move we're going to do is either you can just march it out on the spot a quick march though because our heart rates are up we'll keep them up as long as they're not too high for you you can bring it down gradually if it's too high now a low um, march here okay nice and fast or you can bring it up into a light little skip okay and again it's and um, there's only a slight bit of impact here not much both feet are pretty much in contact with the ground and kind of using the elasticity of the muscles to get a bounce that's it and if you want you can bring up your arms because the higher those arms come the higher the heart rate's going to come now if this is all too much for you go back to that fast walking that's it bring those knees up if you can good work knee raise and kick is next we've both legs to do so both sides we do one at a time keep it nice and basic so it's a knee raise kick okay kind of like a can can move knee raise and kick okay let's go together up and kick up and kick up and kick tap out your knee kick and kick that's it kick you feel in the back of your thigh there as you kick out yeah, your hamstrings hip flexor abs hamstrings that's it good work come on kick it out you don't have to go this high now and if you feel like you need to hold something go ahead little piece of furniture there will be handy there a sturdy piece of the wall 
kick out 10 seconds left now we have the other leg to do as well so take note which leg you're doing at the moment and switch around good okay well done oh i can feel that pull on that hamstring that's tough and early in the morning okay are you ready so knee raise and kick kick that's it now this is really making your back round make your kick smaller okay watch your posture there good abs in for me knee raise kick now we've got a squat and a knee raise next so we're going to be alternating those legs right and left or left and right doesn't matter we're alternating so we'll be working both sides equally good work less than 15 seconds kick it out that's it you can go down lower you don't even have to touch your runner it's just an option okay well done oh shake out those legs really feeling stretched like an elastic band now you know squat again both legs now alternating so down we go the squat can be a nice little mini squat a little bounce there or you can get right down into a 90 degree bend of the legs and bring your knee up good uh, if you want to kind of get your heart rate up a little bit get a little bit more cardio going into the move just bounce and up bounce and up whatever you do i hope you're having fun with it this is a nice fun move now here we go we're pumping out some endorphins that's it good and they will decrease your stress hormones help you sleep better tonight so it's all a wonderful wonderful cycle good work okay now where are we step forward and back oh yeah one leg so forward and back okay so it's kind of like an exaggerated walking action bring in some arms that's it forward and back and again of course you could shorten the range of movement here and speed up okay turn it kind of like into a little jogging type move but there's no impact involved that's it good forward and back that's it we've got the other leg to do in about 20 seconds or so a little bit more good so again always take note of what leg there you're working you can put on those odd socks if you're confused about what leg you've done but you will it's the standing leg i feel working here this one here stabilizing me so that's the leg that will have to move next the leg that's kind of aching a little bit okay shake it out there all right now step forward and back forward and back make it nice and big big rom range of movement or shorten it and bring up the tempo lots of options here for all fitness levels that's it good just have fun do what you can do okay we've got a squat next with two pulses and then a step touch okay so a nice fun move coming up two little bounces of the hips and into a step touch that's it 10 seconds or less now take a longer rest if you need it if that 10 seconds is not enough for you you can do intervals of 40 seconds of work and 20 rest or 30 30 okay i just want you up here and moving all right two little pulses and then a step touch one two and one two so we're hitting all areas of the hip here inner and outer thighs and of course those squats again you can make the squat bigger slow the move down or you can just do two little bounces and step across and you'll get more reps into the 50 seconds you'll bring up your heart rate a little bit more or you can really focus on doing two very specific squats 
and slow the move down. That's it, good. One, two. Next move now, we're going to tap our heel. And we've got some, that's floor taps, okay? And then some high bicep curls. Okay, so heel taps and then high bicep curls, okay? I'll just keep going with my heel taps. Come in now if you feel you're ready for it. Now high bicep curls, a little bit risky on the elbow, but I want you to keep your elbows close to your, your face, okay? Or your upper half. If that's too much for you, just bring them down, okay? If you feel that there's a bit of a strain going on in your elbow, bring them down. That's it, good. Slight bend in the knee. If you can run, want, you can bring it up over your head, but again, keep the elbows in close to your earlobes here and protect your, your elbow joint there, good. Back is straight. We're not leaning back like this, I hope. Remember that broomstick that's wedged down your back? That's it, you can't bend back. <laughs> Good. Full range with the arms now. Bend and extend. Okay. March it out. Now we've got side step. So we're going to step out to the side. Arms out for two. Arms to the front for two. Okay, so one, two, one, two. I'm going to get you coordinated here this morning. One, Two, I hope your brains are awake. If not, they will be after this. One, two, to the front for two. Wide for two, to the front for two. That's it. If you're really, really struggle struggling, just do one wide and one to the front, okay? Doesn't matter. Just as long as you keep your body moving, particularly those legs. Now we've got a heel tap next, but this time we're actually gonna tap our heel and then we're going to kick the legs across our body, okay? Bit of coordination coming up again. Keeping you on your toes here. That's it. Okay, so I'll just show you. So one, two, and kick across your body. All right, let's go together. There we go. One, two, and kick, and kick. I like this move. You can really feel a good stretch in your glutes. It and it really working those inner thighs you can feel some stretching action going on in those inner thighs and it's great for opening up those hips a hip area good hip health here good one two and kick and kick one two and kick and kick good two kick across bring in some arms just it does help to balance the body there, reaching those arms out. One, two, cross and across. We'll get one more in. One, two, and across and across. There you go. Good timing, good timing. Now, next move we're going to do are kind of like those bouncy, jumpy knee raises, and we're going to travel off the spot. Okay? If you don't have sp uh, space, you can just stay on the spot. Now you don't have to actually, I'm not even, my foot's not really leaving the floor and you don't have to. Okay, you can just do this. Just bring those knees up. If your back hurts bringing your knees up too high, just bring it underneath your belly button. But if you can bring it up to belly button height or even above, go ahead. Good. Watch the signs in your body. Your body will let you know. That's it. And you can travel. Good. Just getting off the spot. It just takes a little bit of pressure off your joints. That's it. Good work. We have a step touch and we're going to sweep the arms out in front of the body coming next. Okay. I'll show you here. Step touch and sweep and sweep. So join in with me when you're ready there. So this is a good fun move. That's it. Good. This gets the butterflies flowing. That's the endorphins. You're really feeling good now, working out. That's it, good. There's no better feeling. Good work. And make your way back. You can come off the spot there as well. That's it, good. Now we've got some leg kicks next. Can we get those hamstrings worked a little bit more? And we're gonna clap our hands underneath our legs. You can bend your knee if you find the straight leg is too much for your mobility. Good. 
Keep on going. That's it. You can bend your knees here a little bit if you don't have problems there. A couple of seconds. Work through the rest if you want to. Okay, so we're just going to kick and clap. Bend your knee here like this. Okay, come on in. If you find your hamstring flexibility is just lacking a little bit. Okay. And I know first thing in the morning you can be very stiff there, your lower back and your hamstrings. So I don't know, depending on how, what time of the day you're working out at, how much movement you've done during the day. Because I know some people get out of bed and just go straight to a chair. <laughs> All right, I know we can't help it, our jobs. It's just the nature of the job. Good, kick, kick. Now nice side raises here as well, working your medial deltoid at the middle of the shoulder. And of course, I can feel my trapezius working there as well. That's that big muscle group that runs from your neck down to your mid or lower back. Good. Ooh, building up a good sweat now. What are we next? Travel number 19. Oh my gosh, we're at 19 already. Travel low jacks, right. Let's get into a, a low jack first of all. And you can go down low if you want to really work those glutes and those quad muscles there. And travel, just move off the spot. I always like to move off the spot as much as I can. Good, I, I think it keeps the exercise interesting. That's it, it's, it takes pressure off the joints, keeps the brain happy and interested. <laughs> That's probably the most important thing nearly there, just to keep you going. Move 20 now, it's fast feet with some arm punches. This is a really fun move, the next one. Slight bit of impact involved. Not much though. Good. Reaching and reaching just there now. Okay, so I'll just show you fast feet. Open your legs about hip, sorry, shoulder distance. And then you're going to just tap out the floor. Run those arms by your side, okay? Now, you can see how straight my back is. I'm not rounding, okay? So send that tailbone to the floor. Okay, that's it. Tap gently each side. Now gentle on your feet. You've got those eggs in your runners. Now punch, punch. If this is too much, you can just step it, okay? Either way, it looks just as goofy. That's it. Fast feet, straight back. Punch, come on. Give it to me. You've less than 20 seconds. Get the heart rate up just for the last few seconds of your workout. Good work. You're nearly there now, come on. Five seconds. Woo. Well done. Big clap to you, good work. Okay, let's switch this off. Keep moving, keep your body moving because my heart rate came up there. Breathing rates up. Good work, okay. So I don't know about you, my cortisol definitely feels down and the endorphins definitely feel like they're up and that's what we want, okay? That was a relatively short workout. If you include the warm up as well, you're getting close to the 30 minutes, we're gonna cool down as well. And uh, my, my, my body does not feel stressed after it at all. Like I could feel like I could do that again or do another workout, okay? So just listen to your body. If you're absolutely exhausted when you're finished, you have to sit down, you're feeling completely overwhelmed, what have I just done to myself? You're probably pushing too hard too soon. You wanna be working up to those type, that kind of level of fitness. So I'm, I could definitely come back now and do another workout tomorrow and the day after and the day after. Okay, so good work. Now let's stretch it out. I'm just doing, I'll just do start off with some ballistic type stretches. So really reach across, point that uh, leg back behind you and reach and reach and reach and reach. Now two hands. Now I want you to really stretch across the room like somebody's holding your hands and pulling you towards them. That's it, good. And reach and reach. This is just bringing the heart rate down. 
and we're just getting in some dynamic stretches or stretches with movement while we're at it okay and circle again dynamic type stretch where there's movement involved keeping the legs going to gradually drop your heart rate down that's it good and circle the other way good for shoulder health here and again now let's do some rainbows so we're just circling the legs in sort of a semicircular type motion here bringing the heart rate down again and just getting in some hip mobility and stretching out those inner thighs as well good so i hope you're feeling good now and nice and energized after that workout now let's bring in a little bit of a static stretching so feet are facing forward okay if you're sliding all over a wooden floor maybe you do this on a, a mat um, or a carpeted area will be good keep your chest up now i'm just going to bring it over that's it good you can hold these stretches for longer so you can either pause the video or just take note of them and do them in your own time now i'm going down to the floor i understand that's uh, challenging for a lot of people so what you can do there is just come up higher just even yourself come up higher just see what works for you there okay you can do this on a coffee table or even your chair that's it if you can get down to the floor you can really feel the the uh, intention building up there on the inner thighs now i've got to let that tension wear off okay and that allows me just to stretch that a little bit further so I can widen my legs a little bit more. Now listen to your body, okay? Don't overstretch. That's it. You shouldn't be in pain. You shouldn't be really feeling pain. Just stretch to the point of mild tension. Do it gradually every day or every second day even. Spend a bit of time on it and eventually you will you'll start to see results now you can walk your legs back in to about shoulder height reach up let's stretch out those very important abdominals reach up to the ceiling that's it good you can let go of your uh, your hands there and then just grasp your wrist gently it's just the slightest tug on the wrist and that just really sends that stretch into your oblique a twisting muscle there part of your abdominals keep breathing now and look forward and just take note are you engaging your core muscles yeah change sides again best results with stretching if you hold it for up to a minute maybe even more it depends whether you can you can uh, how you're feeling and yeah, can you do that can you withstand because it can be very very intense Good, particularly if you're tight in those areas or your body is out of alignment okay let's reach over relax your neck you might need to widen your leg a little bit here your legs good come back and over we go reach that hand over this is lovely this is, this is lovely first thing in the morning so you can get a nice big semicircle above your head there with your arm good work come up reach across coming back now to a little bit more dynamic type moves here okay i can feel this in the my back area here just along here the back of the shoulder a little bit around the shoulder blade a little bit into the hip as well good okay come on up now you might need to hold something here but i want you to bring your leg up now we do need to bring the leg across the body so if you're obviously you're going to need to hold your leg but you can actually just put your hip up against something and stretch across okay or you go or put your bum against the door and then stretch across i'm using the other arm here to help balance my body that's it good feel a nice stretch there in your hip area your glute if you can come up a little higher just just uh, experiment yourself sometimes lower is a better stretch try not to pull on your knee go down a little bit on the leg 
down towards your shin. Don't be pulling and yanking your joints. That's it. Good. Now, do you feel that standing leg? <laughs> that is serious work for your standing leg. Now, abs in before you lift. Focus in your head that you're going to need to balance. Okay? Do it slowly. And bring that leg across your body. That's it. Oh, that's lovely. That's a lovely stretch. If you're feeling a little bit stiff from being in bed all night, or a previous workout might have stiffened you up a little bit, or you're just generally stiff in that area. Okay. Look at that stretch you're getting for the chest. Ooh, I'm losing my balance. Hold on now. <laughs> there we go. Good. Focus. Focus. One side's always better than the other. That stretch is worn off me now, so I'm just going to tug a little bit more on my leg. That's a lovely, lovely stretch. Just a few little side, uh, side lunges here, side bends, yep. Again, just looking after the hips there, keeping everything nice and healthy. Good. Let's rotate our ankles. Again, you might want to hold on to something. Clockwise, counterclockwise. Get all those cracks and creaks out. Good one to do before you start working out. If you can let go, you can rest your hands on your hips and you can send those elbows back behind you and you can really open up your chest. That's it. So you're kind of getting multiple stretches in your short time. That's it. Good. And then up and down again. Keep that chest open for me. You can relax. If you can multitask, you can... Uh, Relax your neck as well. If you find that too hard, maybe do a f stop and do your neck stretches. I like to push my hands down for my neck stretches. Now up and down. Yep, that's better. So I'm stretching my neck and I'm getting my calves worked here as well, stretched out. That's it. And roll your head around to the front. I tend not to roll my head around back, the back way, going back. It's a little bit stressful on the discs in your neck. Good work. Okay. And a big clap to you. A big thumbs up. Thank you for joining me today. Keep going with your workouts to keep your immune system healthy. And remember, consistency is key. Whether it's, again, trying to keep your immune system healthy, whether you're trying to lose some pounds, or whether you're just trying to stay healthy and keep mobile and keep active in your later years consistency consistency i can't stress how important enough that is with exercise keeping it moderate making sure that you're not pushing so hard that you can't exercise for two to three days that's not what we really want and also helping your body to recover get those electrolytes back in with those green vegetables um, and hydrating is so important sip water throughout the day don't be gulping down two, three glasses in a row because all you're going to do is go straight to the bathroom and flush everything out. So sip water throughout the day, maybe half a glass throughout the day. It depends on where you live and what the temperatures are in the uh, countries you're living in. Thanks for joining me. I will see you back here really soon. Bye bye.